Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video on dry baking where I used a sterno can for heat instead of the Trangia. Turns out to be a fail. But it got me to thinking about another stove that I bought some time ago to add to my collection. I'm not sure when this was done. It looks like it's from back in the 60s, but it's called the new sterno. Speed cook stove with heat intensifier. Thought it'd be a cool addition. Got it. And comes with a cheap pot with an equally cheap lid. Dents in it already and it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Comes with a foldable stand which doesn't unfold anymore. I gotta grease the uh, pivot point here. But when I did open it up I found that the st small sterno cans of today do not fit in here anymore. The other, the older cans must have been just a little bit smaller. So I have another pot stand that works just like it. That'll work with the uh, small uh, sterno stoves, sterno burners. And this is the heat intensifier. This just goes on the can like this. Once you've got it lit, you just put this on and it makes the flame come up through the center. Basically what it is, is if this is the sterno can, pardon my drawing, I'm not an artiste, and this is the intensifier just like that. It fits on the sterno can. It has two bracket or three brackets on the sides that hold it over. The bottom of the intensifier is down in the can and the rest of it sticks up over the top. So what happens is when the sterno is lit the heat comes up through this from the sterno at the same time cool air is sucked in here to provide air down in here but the flame can come out so it intensifies the flame works kinda like this hopefully this will show up on the camera let me just light this I bought a new box of the sterno cans, the small ones. Boy, is this stuff expensive anymore. Over five dollars for that. I don't know, can you see that now? The flames just kind of flicker around. Just like that. Now watch what happens when I put the intensifier on. I hope you can see this, but the flames now are on the inside of the intensifier coming up much higher so I guess the air is being sucked down through the sides where there's an opening. To me I can see a big difference. I hope it'll show up on the camera. So what I want to do today is do two boil tests. One with the intensifier and one without or rather the other way around do one without the intensifier and one with and see how much if any of a difference there is in boil time. So what we'll do is set this up, put the can right in here just like so. I have two cups of water. Let me light this again. that up again. Now again this is a stand meant for the sterno cans. So that's burning. I have two cups of water here setting at 59 degrees. Let's put that on there and let's see what happens. Alright there's the small burner without the heat intensifier. You can see how the uh, flames are just kind of wavering around 
it's barely hitting the pot with white tips on the top of the flames. Now this is a uh, stand, a pot stand, meant to be used with the sterno. So this is what they determined was the correct height, I guess. Here we have 210. We still have 210, 211, 11. like watching paint dry. see steam coming up but I don't hear heavy boiling yet. 212 at 2015. Jeez. Okay let me let get all this stuff cooled off and reset and I'll try this test again with the heat intensifier. Be right back. Hi I'm back to start the second test. I have two cups of water here, setting at 60 degrees. Let's get this started. Put this burner on and see how it swoops up there. So here we have two cups of water, starting at 60, and let's see where this goes. And there we have it with the heat intensifier in the can. You can see that it's going up, rolling across the top of the, or rather across the bottom of the pot. Looks like it's heating it up much better. So let's see where this goes. There we have 210. Ten. Two eleven. Come on. to 12 at 12.32. Oh. Well, now that was with a new can of Sterno. I didn't reuse the old one. I used a new one. So that brought two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a full boil in 12 minutes and 32 seconds using this heat intensifier. I showed you on camera too how it was focusing the uh, the flames up to the pot. Now without the heat intensifier, the distance between the top of the sterno stove to the bottom of the pot was a little more than one and a half inches, just eyeballing it. With this heat intensifier in it, it brought the gap to about a half of an inch. So. I don't know, it still takes a long time with this stuff, but we did get it closer this time. What was that, like eight minutes short? I think what the seed intensifier doing is doing is just like those candle tops for the jar candles. You've seen these things if you have those, if your wife or you have those big jar candles. This is the holes on the outside let the air go in, but the hole on the inside, the candle heat comes up through and then makes the candle not flutter flutter and all kinds of stuff. So 
I don't know. While I was here waiting for this to go, I was reading the box again. <clears throat> and it does say outdoors, your Sterno stove is also ideal for cooking and coffee making on picnic, camping, hunting trips, as well as for barbecues and cookouts. And it shows the guy, looks like he's making bacon or something. Fat chance, I think. But that's what they show on here. On the package of the uh, canisters, they just show, looks like making a chocolate fondue, heating that up. I'll still hold to my, what I said, that I don't think Sterno is really for cooking. Maybe for heating up stuff, but not for cooking. What was the other thing I saw on this? Oh. It's good for emergencies, for cooking food. Sterilized baby bottles in windstorms, tornadoes. I don't know. I don't know how you're going to bring anything to sterilization. For sterilizing water for shaving and cooking. Yeah, right. Use up most of the canister to do that. So I still hold it. It may be good in emergencies, but... And at this price, I think I'm going to redo these. I had started testing this, refilling these with alcohol, using perlite on the inside. I think it may be what I'll do with one or, one or two of these uh, empty cans and try it in here. So, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions on this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.